And... Here we have this like, oh, it's like a, like a gray with like silver and blue silver. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. We've got a, another review for you today, which might be a little bit of a long one. So just tuck in, sit in, get you a snack and get ready for all the reviewness. And also get ready to like see this outfit a couple of times because I have three videos I am planning on to film today. So just be prepared for that. Today we are going to be going over the new little Violet Voss fun sized eyeshadow palette. Now I had a Violet Voss palette like way before they reform, not re maybe reformulated. They like redid their brand in, they changed their packaging and everything like that. And I wasn't a huge fan. It was the like gemstone shimmer something or the other. It was all shimmer. It had one matte. I was not a huge fan of it. And a lot of Violet Voss's like big old palettes just haven't really interested me but I have wanted to like go and dip into the Violet Voss formula and so I saw these and I was like these would be a cute little thing for me to review and for me to have in my collection and I was looking them over in the Sephora app because I got them on Sephora and they had four really little cute ones you got this one called creme brulee and it's just like some nice little orangey whatever looks kind of like very similar to the Huda Beauty gemstones obsessions in topaz and we have le macaron which is like the all shimmer one going on there then we have berry burst which is basically a condensed version of modern renaissance and then last but not least probably the most interesting one is the fruit sorbet i am wearing all my peepers today a mixture of fruit sorbet, berry burst, and le macaron. We started off with this like really light pink color here. Then I went over here and dipped into this red here. Then I went back into this palette and dipped into this purpley red here. And then we topped it all off with this goldy shade here from this palette. These bad boys are limited edition. They're gonna run you $18. You get 10 shades each. And you are getting 12 grams in this palette and they last for 24 months, which is nice because usually it's like 12 or six months. Not that I pay any attention to them month things. I keep my stuff until, well, basically until I die. You're gonna pry it from my cold, dead fingers. So we're just gonna go and swatch in these ones. We're gonna kind of do like I did the Huda Beauty ones where we kind of swatch one and then I talk about that one and we go on and then kind of on a hole at the end. So let's just get into talking about these bad boys and getting you some delicious swatches. Got you all in closer and please, please try to ignore. You probably maybe not notice it until I pointed out this little piece of lace front that did not feel like gluing my wig to my head today and it's just not wanting to stay. Always be wearing long sleeves when I have to do swatches. Always be wearing long sleeves. All right, let's start off with, honestly, the one that I started off with today, Fruit Sorbet. The packaging is like all the same on the other ones, except they're kind of ombre according to the color scheme in them, which is really nice. They're very compact, nice and sturdy. The eyeshadow size, I would say inside is pretty spot on for like the Lorac Pro palette. So if you're familiar with those eyeshadow sizes, you're gonna know what these are. They don't have any names, no names, just like the Huda Beauty, whatever. So I guess that's a trend that's happening and this one you are getting six mattes and then four shimmers the two shimmers that I'm kind of like the shades that I'm just kind of like not really feeling is this just kind of setting shade you know how I feel about setting shades and then these two shimmers here the black and the white well I guess I'm more okay with this one and the black I'm just kind of like eh. But enough of that, let's just, we're probably gonna go boop, 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 like that. All right, so we're going into this red here, this orange here, and then this like pinky salmony one, which is what I started out with. They feel like a good matte, you know, they don't feel like anything atrocious, but they don't feel like anything that like blows my mind or I've never tried before. Then we got this yellow, and then we got this deep one right here, and then we've got this one. Now these shimmers. They feel so blinking nice, like right there. Now I will say like that shade there, that is not showing up nearly as well as it applied on my little eyeball. Then we got this blue right here, this kind of just like, eh. 
shade going on and then we have the black black is so pretty so we got the blue and then the eh, and then the black and then last but not least this white one which is so oh my goodness like the pans are so small trying to get my finger in it like i'm gonna swatch this one up here it's like this super fun shiny shimmery shibbly goodness i really really like this one i've used every single blinking shade in here wait no i haven't used that one let's be honest i never use shades that color like maybe if i'm doing an all matte look i'll do it to brighten up the inner bit but on a whole i don't use those colors and i will say these swatches do not do the mattes justice the mattes were so nice they weren't like crazy, crazy pigmented. You could work them up a little bit. They did not have a lot of fallout. I would say they're very similar to the mattes in the Huda Beauty Gemstone Obsessions palettes. So if you're familiar with that formula where you just kind of, you know, you gotta, you gotta go over it just a little bit more, but it's still nice and pigmented. Not a lot of fallout. I actually kind of prefer a palette with a little bit of fallout because what I do is I shh, my brush in there, create a little fallout, and then I just kind of pick up the fallout but that's just weird that's just me that's weird i don't you know i don't do my eyeshadow like anybody else the shimmers did pass the in the crease test so this one was definitely a yee for me i think if you're wanting to get into something kind of colorful but not wanting to spend a lot of money and get a couple different colors these are only 18 dollars this one I think is nice. It's gonna be a nice little travel palette too. All right, then let's go into this berry burst one, which, like I said, is basically the modern renaissance in little palette for eighteen dollars. Which I know a lot of people think it's redundant, being like, "Well, if you already have those colors, why did you have that?" I like having a color scheme that I love in a multitude of palettes because that means, well, there are a multitude of formulas, and I like testing and having different formulas. But it also means I will never run out of said color story. All right, let's just go in here with this lovely sh Oh my goodness, she's so, I was so tempted to use that one today. I appreciate that this setting shade could also be like a starter shade, like not a transition shade, but a starter shade that actually has some color to it. And then this one right here is also beautiful. There she is, the starter shade, which still kind of looks like nothing a little bit a little bit a little bit more than nothing then we've got this one right here and then this one right here the mattes in this one feel so nice and we have this uh this bronzy shade it just feels so soft there we have those then we're dipping into this red shade and this beautiful shade here and this shade here i just i mean you guys know i live for this kind of a color story so it's like i just it's just it's just so nice look in there and then last but not least this deep 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 chocolate brown here we have them shades looking like this i mean can we just appreciate that one and that one and that one and that one and that one needs a little help. Second verse, pretty much same as the first. Yes, I have this color story in a multitude of palettes, but I like having this color story in a multitude of palettes. And for this one only being $18 and having the quality that it does makes me just so happy inside. I love the mattes. They are a bit more pigmented, I would say, than the ones in this palette here. These shimmers. These shimmers feel like the modern Anastasia Beverly Hills, the shimmers in the modern Renaissance and the soft glam palette. They're just so smooth. You don't have to use anything tacky to set them down. You don't have to use a setting spray. They just go on like they are on the eyes. If you like this color spectrum, if you don't have the modern Renaissance, if you do have the modern Renaissance, this one is just absolutely beautiful, and I'm probably going to be taking it with me to Tennessee instead of my modern renaissance. Or I might take both because that's how I roll. All right, creme brulee. Now this one, out of all of them, is kind of like, mm, 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 mm. I don't want to say boring, but it's like browns with a little bit of orange and goldy, and that, that that's not the color scheme that I usually like run to. But I did want to review all of them for you guys. We get kind of like a roundabout going on, but let's just get into swatching. We got this shade right here, which is a matte, but it's got like 
glitter shimmer running through it, not shimmer glitter, so it's a matte with glitter that probably isn't gonna stay there. Then we have another non-existent setting shade. I just, you know I don't live for that. And then this beautiful bronzy one, which I totally swatched. I did swatch it on the right finger. Here we have it right there. I, I guess that's a little bit more brightening than what we've seen. And then this bronzy shade right there. And we're going into some gold, and then kind of a lighter bronze, and then kind of a deeper gold. All the golds and bronzes you could ever desire. Those two look no, I guess they, okay, they do look different. We have kind of this like brown based gold. It's kind of like a little bit cool tone, maybe, maybe not. Then a straight up orange. Then this beautiful like deep, dark, delicious purple based chocolate going on there for you. Just go, I mean, look at that. That's so pretty. It's like October fall vibes. Where was this palette then? Then last but not least, another matte that has shimmer going through it. It's like, do we all gotta do this? But it's really pretty. Okay, now with this one we have, okay, sorry, shades. Look at the shades. They're so beautiful. They're actually a color spectrum that I actually would kind of go with. Like that fall, orangey, reddy, kind of reddy, brownie, goldy, what I said in the beginning. Like I say in all my whatevers, I will never, ever win an award for my descriptive abilities. Okay, so third verse, kind of the same as the first verse. The quality is beautiful. The shimmers are stunning. Like I said, with the cute little berry burst, berry burst, did I even say what it was called? Well, I am now. Berry burst. I like the shimmers in the berry burst. They're just so smooth. They don't get a lot of what I love about a shimmer is when a shimmer is able to deliver a high impact shine without being chunky when I'm trying to get it out of the pan. You know how you get some shimmers and you're like, ah, oh, then flatten it down again. These ones don't have no chunky fallout and they just apply absolutely beautiful. The reason why this one, I'm just not as woo about this one as I am the other ones is I feel like these ones have enough matte to shimmer ratio that you're able to get, I feel, a lot more looks going on. You've only got four mattes here and that's, I guess, that's maybe the beauty of it because you can do kind of the same matte thing and then switch up the shimmer. But I can't say anything bad about the quality. It is just absolutely beautiful and I need to like pull this out more. Shimmers past the in the crease test. These are like probably my new favorite shimmer formula. Essentially because they are the Anastasio formula because they're beautiful. Now last but not least, as I was saying, my first Violet Voss palette was all shimmers and I hated it. This palette is all shimmers and I love it. This is Le Macaron going on right here. Let's just get into swatching these beautiful, beautiful babies. Here we have this like, oh, it's like a, like a gray with like silver and blue silver. And then this one is like a brown with red and whatever. Then we got this one with green and blue. I mean, they're just so beautiful, right? The hair, you can, can, can you tell the reflex? Probably not. These reflex are hard to pick up on a camera that's not expensive, and my camera is not expensive. We have this beautiful red one right here, and then we have this beautiful blue one, and then we have this bronzy one right here. They're just so beautiful, and they feel so smooth. Like, you know how when you pick up some shimmers, you're like, yeah, I can, I can feel that. I can feel the chunk. These ones don't have it at all. And then we've got this purple right here. Hopefully I'm in frame. And this gold that I used today. And another like pinky bronze. It's always difficult swatching here because I've got hair on my arms, but we'll, we'll do our best. And then last but not least, we've got this last dark, deep kind of bronzy shade. We'll do that one. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Okay, so it's like bronzy whatever. I don't know if you can, but it has like peach pinky undertones. It's just so pretty. So here are all of those bad boys. Probably comes as no surprise that I absolutely love this. Even though this is not a palette that I would say 
is just by itself. Like, you look at it and the colors are beautiful, but unless you're someone like me who likes to do whole shimmer looks, which I know a lot of people aren't a fan of, it's not really gonna do it for you, but this palette has so many beautiful unique shades like these three here and that purple they're just and then this one with that peachy reflect is or is it this one i can't no it's this one no yes i don't remember one of the ones over here has the peachy peachy reflect it is just absolutely beautiful and for 18 dollars this will be a palette that has like a shimmer for every kind of eye look you could possibly want to do so obviously i was positive on like all the whole whatever for the front one thing that i really like and this isn't anything i expect you know anyone else to do but one thing I appreciate about these is you have them, right? And you have them, and they're singular, and depending on the colors and the matte to shimmer ratio depends on how, in my opinion, how, like, user-friendly they are and how, like, well-constructed they are in a way of being able to create a multitude of looks. But I love having them because they work so well together. Like you have this one and you can start off with some of the mattes here and you got these oranges here and then you can mix that with some of the deeper or the lighter oranges and the brown ones over here. And then you got this one here and you got kind of like the brighter color spectrum and then you can go into like some of the colors in over here or like I did today. Take some of these colors and bring it all the way over here. Then you got this orange here and that red which works really well with the color scheme in here. More, honestly, more than just like using them on their own I've been like switching them up being like oh I like that color over there and I'm gonna put that color here with this one and that one and like that, that's how I've been using them and I absolutely love these and I can't tell you how much I mean the matte formula is good the matte formula is really good I really like the matte formula in all the mattes in these palettes but that shimmer formula it is a great beginner friendly shimmer formula and honestly these palettes are pretty much really great beginner friendly if you're looking to get something for a friend of yours who's just getting into makeup, or if you're just getting into makeup, I highly recommend these. The mattes are super easy to blend. They're like not crazy pigmented, but not like uh, no pigmentation. And the shimmers just apply so beautifully. No extra prep work, no nothing. Just slather them all over your lid. All right, there was that review. I honestly didn't think I was gonna like these as much as I did. Like some things it comes in, I'm like, oh boy, I'm ready for for it. And some things you're just wanting to try. I was just trying to dip my toes back into the Violet Voss formula and these are absolutely stunning. Obviously, if you have them, let me know what you think about them. You love them. You hate them. Would you recommend them? I say this every time I talk about a product. You guys know how I do the do. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And as always, keep it real. Mwah!